What's up guys, Arcage released the Fresh Start and 4.5 info today. Surprisingly, it's happening on April 5th, 2018. This is oddly bizarre because I don't think anyone expected it that soon. I expected the announcement to happen at April 5th because April 5th is actually the start of PAX East. So this new style of Fresh Start is going to be a progression-based Fresh Start. They don't have all the full details yet, but the link is down below. Let's give you the information that we know. 4.5, again, we don't have all the details, but we do know that there's these massive big dragons that you can claim as pets. They come from the Red Dragon Raid Boss, and you're going to have to kill the boss to get an item to create these dragon pets. These items are going to be tradable, so you can trade them, sell them to other players. So if you're not a raid boss killing person, you still can get the pet. It's also going to require some upkeep as well. So you're not just going to buy it once and then have it forever. You will have to pay some fees to keep it up and alive. It can die in battle. It can carry, I believe, two different people, including yourself or maybe yourself and just one other person. More information on the dragon will come out. It can actually fly, though. It is not just a glider. Uh, this can fly. It has supposedly been balanced around all this as well. They are doing a lot of different uh, system changes and tweaks to the game. As you can see, these crafting recipes are going to be changing. Regrade systems are improved. Uh, increased regrade rates. There is going to be a system now where if you fail a regrade, your weapon or armor does not break. It now just cannot be regraded any higher. Cannot go any further than that current grade. There's several different things as well, but more information will be coming out soon. Let's take a look at the FAQ, what they have for the Fresh Start 4.5 servers. So first up, on 4.5, April 5th, they are going to start the server off, and there's going to be these restrictions. Level 50 is going to be the cap. The rules are accounts limited to one character slot. No PvP protection exists in housing areas. So housing is straight up war. You can fight in housing uh, we don't know if it's always going to be war or if you're still going to need the war times, but you're going to be able to battle in housing zones if it's war times for sure, but if it's in a peace period, probably not. Player may tame dragons if they possess the appropriate material, so uh, you can kill the dragon, the red dragon raid boss, but that's not going to happen right away because uh, obviously it's a raid boss. It's going to take some time to gear up. The world is only going to have these zones available. So the new zones, the dwarves in Warborns, are no longer available. They are kicked out of the game. They are not going to be available. Uh, several different zones as well looks like to be locked. The dungeons, which you're going to have, you're going to have greater dungeons available. And there's a list. You're going to have raids available. So it's just, it's the Arc Age of old with a new twist on it. And it's time based which it's very interesting so now magnificent item is the highest grade that you can get farm haulers medium warships tier 2 buildings are available to craft uh, arenas you got 1v1 and 3v3 balanced free for all arenas and naval arenas are available this is going to be for about a month so they say a month post launch is now going to unlock this stuff and this is all subject to change as well so after one month of launch which would be 5-5 five, five approximately. The level cap is still going to be level 50. Castles can now be claimed once Diamond Shores faction base reach rank 3. So rank 3 on Diamond Shores will be available. You'll be building and working towards uh, you know, ranking up your fortress. The Dream Ring quest line will become available. you got new dungeons coming up. we got new raids coming up. Crimson Rift becomes available. Uh, Ethereum tier gear becomes available. Cars, speedboats, steam bikes become available to craft. So it's very, very, very interesting. Uh, a lot of stuff is being held back, and the first couple, uh, it doesn't say here, but the first couple days, you cannot place a house. There is a 48-hour housing restriction. So for the first two days, you cannot drop down land. You can drop down land on April 7th, and you can see there's more stuff that they're going to be adding in the future, higher gears, and so forth. You can also currently buy packs, surprisingly enough they're already pre-selling though that was a um, sarcasm if you didn't realize but you can uh, pre-order your name right now give them 10 bucks get credits and title you can give them a hundred bucks and you'll get to you know create your name get a title get a glider get credits tax certs expansion scrolls 
So there's also the FAQ, uh, FAQ here. So any account that was created prior to 314 will not be able to join the Fresh Start servers. If you have a new account that has been created after 314 and you have not created a character on legacy servers or purchased any legacy packs, you will be able to join the Fresh Start servers. You'll be able to join both North America and EU. You're only able to have one character at the at the launch of the server more character slots will be available simply make another account we'll get you another character slot you cannot use your prior fresh start accounts you cannot have dwarfs or warborns they are not there you can guarantee your name on fresh starts so this is all stuff that we kind of talked about before and if you want to go over it more, you can. The links are down below. We will touch upon this and more 4.5 information as it hits the public test server. So we know exactly what's coming. And this is going to be really interesting because I will not be here for April 5th on the launch. I'm going to be uh, traveling over to Boston for PAX East. So I'm going to miss out on the opening couple days of this craziness. Hopefully, I am personally hoping that it gets delayed a week. Uh, that's just me personally here because I'm not going to be able to do April 5th. But we'll see what happens. We'll have a laptop and have some shitty internet connection over there. But yeah, this is what's going on. April 5th, 4.5 and fresh starts. Hopefully that they, they, I hope that they space these fresh starts out. Like I don't want fresh start happening at the same time of a major patch because every major patch has been fucked up and there's been broken errors, issues, bugs, uh, things that just destroy the game servers go down like the new player experience at the launch of a patch is horrible it, you have these massive queues because there's many people that want to play the beginning of arc age arc age beginning is very fun but you get turned away because the servers can't hold you know 15 20 000 people which that's uh, you know roughly how many people want to play arc age the very beginning and then you have queues for hours upon hours potentially even days which then has all these other issues as well. Servers crashing because too many people online. There's not going to be enough land at all. Land rush is going to be crazy for the second, you know, after the 48-hour period passes. Oy, so much stuff going on here, guys. So we will talk about more of this as it comes available. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in 4.5 on the Fresh Start server sometime. Yeah, as of now, there's only one server for each region as well, which could be catastrophic for North America if this uh, patch resonates with enough of the players.